What is your first memory of Japanese tuning culture? The vision or moment that you became hooked. For many, it was watching massive horsepower GTRs scrambling for traction and running nine and 10 second quarters on street tires back in the late 90s and early 2000s. This GTR makes all those younger day memories come flooding back, as this car is what the Jap street scene was all about. It's OG JDM. Just looking at it, you'd guess that it was built in Japan, and you'd be right. The car was built by Aki Fuchigami, owner of Garage Bomber, almost 10 years ago, but it now resides in Southern California. I owned a tuning shop in Japan before, mm -hmm. about uh, nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Then I did a 10 years tuning shop. Then I built, a, I built a lots of GTR, then some cars in the UK, or yeah, some cars here. Uh, this weekend, hopefully, nine second middle. Mm -hmm. Then try to switch the tires next year, maybe. Then try to eight second car. So what is it about this GTR that makes it look so right? You can't really put your finger on it. It just looks so purposeful, so aggressive. It all starts with a gritty body kit, headlight duct, a Jun vented hood and veil side mirrors. The car was slightly widened and stitch welded before it was sprayed in House of Colour Chameleon. We've seen this paint on many a tacky show car, but on this car, it looks unreal. But it's the little things that make it look so right. The holes cut out in the front bar, the hood and trunk pins, the twin exit exhaust, and we love the Boost Lee number plates. The look is set off by the 17 by 9.5 inch Volk TE37s wrapped in BF Goodrich drag radials. Inside them are Brembo F50 brakes and the stance is set right by HKS Hypermax drag coilovers. There's also a host of adjustable arms to help get the geometry correct. Inside it's all business. Stripped, caged, race seat and harness keep Arky safe or the Greddy gauges keep him informed. The wiring's all been redone and there's a HKS torque split controller, drag controller and a line lock kit for you know what. He even does the burnouts the way we remember them from the old days in Japan. Those burnouts serve a purpose, to warm the tyres and let the car do this. That's right, you're reading correct. This GTR runs nines on radial tyres with no nitrous and in a car that isn't that far removed from a road car. That's what the GTR is all about. So what's underneath? It's all quite simple, really. The fully built RB26 with all Tomei internals is still 2.6 litres, but revs beyond 9,000 RPM. Rest assured, there's plenty of tricks and secrets inside to keep it together as it makes 900 horsepower with boost only, supplied by the HKS T51R SPL Turbo Kit. It dumps into a Garage Bomber custom exhaust and blows through a Greddy intercooler and 100mm throttle body into the modified Group A intake manifold, which now houses 12 550cc injectors. They're fed by three Bot fuel pumps and are controlled by the HKS FCON V Pro ECU. 
power is channeled through a HKS triple plate clutch and six speed dog box to the Tomei rear diff and Cusco front. The combination doesn't seem that crazy, but it sure does work and the car is awesome to watch. So less talk and more action.